Okay, here's the new design of the frequency counter. I finally got it to work. I'm using an ATmega16 microcontroller. I finally gave up the uh, ATtiny44A, the 2313, and the ATmega8. All of these little ones I was trying to get it to work with uh, shift registers and different ways to multiplex. I decided to just go for a bigger chip. Someone graciously provided this chip for free, so uh, thanks to whoever that was. I still don't know who it was. The back is pretty straightforward. It's a multiplex display. I'm using some transistors. Those are actually MOSFETs at the back to select which character is characters displayed. The counting is done by the chip on the lower right. It's a 32-bit counter, although I think I can get away with only using 16 bits, but I haven't actually tried it yet. Additionally, something to research is using the counter built in here. If I can clock the microcontroller fast enough and maybe use a several dividing steps before the frequency counter signal goes into the microcontroller, I might be able to do it without the counter chip. I'm clocking the microcontroller at 4 megahertz, and I'll describe it once we get going. I'm using a crystal oscillator here. Right now it's at 3.57 megahertz to generate signals, and I have them hooked up to the oscilloscope. You can see here, I'm going to turn off the light for you. The signals are pretty clear square waves. My intention is to use a buffer chip to generate these square waves from an input frequency. I, I've already done that with the 74HC240, so it's being fed with 5 volt square waves. The red wire connects here. This is the input, and when I hook it up, you can see how fast the display changes. There you go. It's uh, 3. 579 megahertz, exactly what you'd expect, although I just unplugged it. Plug it back in, and there's a little bit of a bug. If it doesn't see a signal, it gives a really funky answer. So as long as I keep it attached, it'll give me an accurate number. Now to show the upper end of it, I have a 50 megahertz crystal, 50 megahertz. I will plug this crystal oscillator into the breadboard. You can see we're pretty close to exactly 50 megahertz, so I'm very excited this is working. This is relatively inexpensive, and as you can see, it's pretty accurate. I just broke it here. There we go. It's relatively inexpensive, pretty accurate, and the uh, display isn't as bright as I want. I'm using these current limiting resistors. I'm driving the display directly from the microcontroller, which is probably a no-no as far as current is concerned. I could either omit the resistors and load the microcontroller more heavily to get brighter display, which I'm not a great fan about, or we could use high-speed switching MOSFETs or even regular transistors to have a higher power source to this display. It is being multiplexed. I haven't tried this yet with the camera. We'll see what happens. I'm going to turn off the light and shake this back and forth. Yeah, see the numbers flashing? That's because it's only showing one number at a time. And if you want more information about that, just do a YouTube search for multiplexing or look on Google. But there we go. should be working. I can't wait to put it in my new transmitter.